yes. Hey, what's going on, guys? XX Benchical here, and I am procrastinating while doing my homework. That is, uh, if you want some math answers, here you guys go. Um, yeah, so, they're probably all wrong, because I suck at math, and, uh, I normally don't put the right answers, but, uh, today we have a special episode, obviously, I'm procrastinating, that's why the new angle is here, and I have to go through an elaborate plan to get to this angle, guys, so don't even trip. There's a binder right there, my mom's ultrasound book behind you guys, sitting on a math book, being supported by my backpack and my slippers. So yeah, that's how that goes down. <clears throat> and today I want to expand a topic that I talked about yesterday. I didn't talk about it too much, but I still talked about it. Now, I went to the barber shop yesterday, and I'm like, Hey, yo, Keisha, I need my hair cut ASAP. She's like, sorry, man, there's a guy in front of you. And I was like, God damn it. But then I got over it. And so I was, she's like, hey, you want your hot, sweetie? Because I got a different lady. She's like, hey, you want your hair cut, sweetie? And I'm all... Ayo, hey, Keisha, here's what you need to do. You need to cut my hair as short as you can without using your clipper razor thing. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. So we get about 90% through the haircut, right? And then, she, and then you know, I'm closing my eyes like, whew, feeling my hair. I feel good. No, 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 no. And then I hear the noise. And the hair lawnmower has come to strike again. I'm like, oh, no, 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 baby black Jesus, no. No, no, no. Belle, what are you doing? Sorry, my dog's yawning. Anyway, I'm like, no, no, no. This is not about to happen. But I didn't say anything, because I didn't want her to cut my head off. Obviously, she has a sharp freaking weapon in her head. Here's why I don't like those things, because here's my problem. You know, they're mowing my lawn up top. They're all, meow, 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 right? And then it tickles, god dang it. So I lift up my shoulders and I move my head a little bit. So it goes from meow, meow, meow to meow, and then my head's like all bleeding. and Because it tickles. Like, I shrug my shoulders and, you know, I'm like, <laughs> but I'm not laughing for very long because then like half my head gets cut. <sighs> Sorry, I need some semen reducer. Oh, I can't wait to be infertile. Anyway, what... So, these ladies do not listen to me. Like, every time. Never works. Honestly, I went from looking like I was 9 years old to looking like I'm 6 years old. And I'm 14. I'm supposed to look like I'm 14, not 6. Like, I got a bunch of people coming up to me today and said, Ethan, you kind of look like my cousin. I was like, oh, that's cool. How old is your cousin? Seven. God, no! <laughs> you know, that sucks, man. That really sucks. I wish I could just get compliments. Like, hey, your fatness is really sexy today. Or, hey, your ugly teeth are really sexy today. Something like that. But no. <laughs> you look like my seven-year-old cousin, douchebag. <laughs> Anyway, one last thing I wanted to talk about. I know I talk about religion a lot, and I know I bash it. So, today I'm not going to bash it, but I'm still going to talk about it. What? How is that possible? Mm. Here's how I'm going to talk about it. So, I recently figured out that Rome needs a Mormon. Now, uh, I didn't really get what this meant. I was like, Mormon, aren't they, like, really, really dumb? To be honest with you, it sounds something more logical that I would have created out of pure boredom. Um, I don't know if that's bashing or not, but get this. When they die, they supposedly get their own planet. So if you think about it, if they're right, then we're probably being ruled by a dead Mormon. Huh? I don't know, it's confusing, but just, just stay with me here. That is awesome! I don't care who you are, atheist, Jewish, dumpsterist, but... Having your own planet is awesome. Tell me in your wet dreams you haven't dreamed about having your own planet. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a Mormon. I'm not saying I believe in this. But I'm saying if they're right and hell somehow doesn't work, like, oh, sorry, uh, Satan's masturbating, so uh, you're going to have to go rule your own planet. You know, if that ends up happening, I'm not saying it will. But if it does, dude, I want my own planet. Like, I want one with freaking... I wonder if you get to design your own planet. It's like Sims, but with a planet. It's like 
there's a needs to be a Mormon game designer out there that freaking makes that. Like, they don't make heaven games, but it makes sense if you got to create your own planet. You know how sick that'd be? Like an all-water planet, an all-land planet. That wouldn't work. We'd all die. But I'm just saying, that would be awesome. So, I'm going to give you guys a question. You know, I just happened to come across this religion that I thought was kind of sick, you know? Getting your own planet? Boss. <laughs> Not saying that I'm a Mormon. I'm still an atheist. Don't worry, guys. I'm still chill. No, but, um, let me know if, despite what you believe now, whether it's heaven, dumpster, uh, 72 virgins, if that's what you're into, um, what do you think would be the coolest thing to happen to you after you die? Now, I'm not, to be honest with you, I kind of came to this conclusion just because I was starting to think about heaven, you know, because, you know, people like to talk about it a lot, and I was thinking, it sounds kind of boring. I mean, you kind of just sit up there. and For me, I picture heaven as a big white box. Like, it's a really big white box, though. But there's, like, you... I don't know. I think Another theory that I used to come up with is that if you die without your brain being, like, ruptured... And this is when I was, like, six, so don't, don't say, Oh my god, you're so stupid! No, but when I was six, I was like, You know, if you die and your brain doesn't mess up, doesn't that mean technically you're sleeping? So that means you just dream? And then if you're dreaming about heaven, then you'll be in heaven, but if you're dreaming about going to hell, then you'll go to hell? What? I don't know why I had to stop talking while he's rubbing my ear. Yeah, it's creepy, right? No, but uh, that's what I want to talk about. So... Let me know in the comment section below, what do you want to happen when you die? Because, I mean, to be honest, us atheists out there, we're kind of screwed. Because, think of it. I mean, not saying that I'm going to switch religions just because what happens when we die sucks. But it's pretty much either seeing black or burning forever. It's pretty much in everybody else's mind. But, I mean, I'm not going to convert just because of that. I'm still sticking, sticking to my guns. That was boss. That was boss. So, despite what you believe now, what would you think would be the coolest freaking thing to happen to you when you die? Let me know in the comment section below. Triple God back. No, no, no. Going against my beliefs. Um, let's see. Triple death back.